after the big win over Auburn last week. Our, uh, Will the Deacons are bringing a fine football team in here, John, and Tennessee's going to have to play well uh, in order to stay with them or win the ball game. Wake Forest has won the toss elected to receive. The officials, a split crew. That means four from the Southeastern Conference, three, uh, three from the Atlantic Coast Conference. 81 is Jeff Smith. That's Ziegler, the linebacker. And this will be Carlos Reves to kick off. He's been perfect this year as far as field goals and extra points. Five for five field goals. Seven for seven has not kicked one, has not attempted one from longer than 50 yards. So everything's in readiness as the crowd in excess of 93,000 is here. Cool and crisp autumn afternoon. Tennessee and Wake Forest. The Volunteers 1-0-1. Oh, Wake Forest 3-1, and, and this game is underway. And the first kick, I assume it will be the first kick, goes out of bounds inside the 10, so there's the five-yard penalty. Back to the 35, and Reves has had a practice kick so to speak now he's got five more yards to work with or worry about and here's Reves and there you see it from ground level a bobble oh. a fumble and wait for it. <laughs> well, it didn't start exactly as the coaches drew it up on the blackboard bill no they kick it out of bounds get the penalty and then the uh, Wake Forest has a problem holding on to it Wake Forest quarterback is Foy White, a senior from Charlotte, North Carolina. Two great running backs. This one, Ramsior, who is a senior. He's from North Carolina. Landia, Landis it should be. And the other running back is 22 Clemens. And here you'll see Michael Ramsior. You'll see the defensive alignment of Tennessee. 98 is Brown. There's 45 in on the stop of the Volunteers defensively. And uh, so it will be a gain on the play of a couple of yards. Back to throw will be White. Complete. This is Clemens. And Clemens on the play gets... Uh, now let's take a second look. Gets about three yards. This is what they like to do. Hit the back out of the backfield. It's a quick pass. Pop it out there to him. He got some blockers out in front, but he slipped. He could have picked up some pretty good yards on that play. Linebackers for Tennessee, Ziegler, 49. Miller, last week's defensive player of the week. Darren Miller. Nice goal. Big play. That's Clemens straight up the middle. Gain of eight yards, and it's first down. Dale Jones on the stop, and Wake Forest moving with the ball on the ground. Gets some good blocking inside. He runs through one tackler, but uh, the offensive line opened up a pretty good hole in right up the middle. Wake averages 187 yards rushing, 226 yards passing, averaging well over 400 yards total offense. Ramsure, oh. fumble, recovered, Tennessee, that's Chris White. Cannot advance the ball, but Tennessee has possession. Turnover number one. Big turnover early. Of course, he's trying to go outside again. Defense uh, on the second look, you can see that they've strung it out real well and uh, played it very well. He's coming up and right right there. Uh, helmet on the ball, popped it loose. Big play for the orange. That was Brown up there. Let's see, might have been Kimbrough, I think, made the hit. Let's take a look. 45, that's, yes, this is Kimbrough and Brown up making uh, contact. Terry Brown got the helmet on the ball and it's recovered by Tennessee, so the Volunteers have it first down. Tennessee plus 11 on turnovers to this point this season. Tony Robinson. Pete Panuska carrying the ball. Wilson out with an injury. And so Panuska will probably share duties with Keith Davis. Gain on the play. Let's take a second look. Well, he gets pretty good block and lead blocker up there. 35 makes a good block Howard. outside. Howard, and if he just stays up, he could go a long way. Gets him by the shoestring. Gain of seven yards on the play. Second down three at the 31-yard line of Wake Forest. Tony Robinson at quarterback. Complete. That was Swanson cutting through the interior. Eric Swanson coming into the game has caught seven passes for 85 yards. Robinson on the year, 42 of 65. He's trying to hit him on the slant in. I don't know whether the defender got a hand in there or not. We couldn't tell. So it's got to be third down for Tennessee. Three yards to go. 
Tennessee shifts that tight end Smith. And that will be Panuska, and he's got first down, Tennessee. First down run by Panuska from Brick, New Jersey. A second look, and you can check the blocking of Tennessee up front. It's pretty good blocking inside there, but Panuska breaks the tackle and picks up the necessary yardage. Some injury problems for Tennessee in the offensive line. Hibbett and Bruin are out. Robinson. That's Panuska making the catch, slipping and falling. Offensively, Tennessee, Douglas, Smith, Galbraith, Kirk at center. Wilkerson backed up by Williams and Stewart. Good block up front by the sprint out. The fullback puts his man down. He has the ball. Quick pop out. He tries to cut back in the, right there in the wet spot. You can see that it is some more. There is some moisture. It's rained pretty much throughout the week in Knoxville. Robinson. Delay, handoff, right side. That's Keith Davis, the freshman from Nashville, who spears the ball downfield for a gain on the play of eight yards, and it should be a first down. Let's take a second look for the end zone. Oh, good block with the fullback again. He gets through a pretty tight hole, just tries to stick his head down and drive it in. And it's a gain of eight, and it's first down, 10 Tennessee at the 15-yard line. Keith Davis, redshirt freshman, Went over 100 yards against Auburn. Coming in, he's carried the ball 121 yards this year. Robinson incomplete, swatted down. Nice defensive play by Grantham. Intended for Swanson. Wake Forest shifting around, does a lot of different things defensively, Bill. Well, yeah, they try to give a, like everybody, I think, in place to them. They try to give them a lot of different looks. And when they, by the time they snap the ball, they really haven't changed that much. Four-man front, Wake Forest. Right. Robinson checking off. Took too long. Delay of game coming up. Five yards, it will be against Tennessee. And that will move the ball from the 15 back to the 20, and it becomes second down and 15. No score. First period, Tennessee recovering a fumble, moving with the ball. Screen set up. Keith Davis set up very well out there. Maybe a little bit uh, took a little too long to get the ball to him. It was set up. Uh, Keith couldn't get away from the one tackler. It's got him slowed down there early. McCummings makes the stop. Let's take another look. As Robinson looking downfield to set up the play. Now the screen had to loop the pass over the tackle who's rushing Davis. Well, it was played better than I thought it was, John. He came up in a good position to make the play on Keith. So, gain on the play of six yards. It will be third and nine. Wake Forest digging in deep in its own territory. No score. A checkoff apparently by Robinson. That's Davis. Outside, 10. Davis scrapping, getting very, very close to a first down. It will be short. Good effort, Davis. Good blocking. Henderson, 43. He makes a move inside to set it up and then just slips to the outside. He's getting some pretty good blocking downfield. Fourth down, a yard to go for Tennessee. Defending Green. And Tennessee in a nothing-nothing game, deep in Wake Forest territory in the first quarter, is going to go for the first down. Tennessee will try for the first. It's fourth and a yard. At the six-yard line. Howard. I think he got it. Just a straight hand off and a power play. Nothing fancy about it. Just the offensive line is time to dig in and do some work. And they managed to give him enough room that he pushes his own over. Good surge by William Howard. Sophomore, Lima, Ohio. That is he. As Tennessee has it first down and goal. No score, first quarter. Wake Forest from the Atlantic Coast Conference, Tennessee from the Southeastern Conference. Panuska. Diving down to the one-yard line. Well, on the second look, Wake Forest got a lot of people up on the line of scrimmage, but uh, he manages to slip through and pick up three or four yards. So it's going to be second down and goal. Another look at Pete Panuska. 
when you go out, cuts it back against the grain, and just kind of goes against the flow and uh, ducks under several tacklers. Baldinger will get credit for the tackle, but it's a gain of three, and there you see the ball very, very close to the Wake Forest goal line. Those defensive linemen down trying to stow. Well, they do. Howard tried the left side. Whitley right there. No gain. Wake Forest is very, very determined defensively. Probably not, well, certainly not as big as Tennessee or most of the team Tennessee plays. Here it is. Third down and goal. Paduska. Hey. Touchdown, Tennessee. Got the ball over. He had it uh, in the left hand. They turned him parallel with the line of scrimmage there with uh, the hit, but the ball broke to play in the end zone. And so Tennessee's on the scoreboard. The pitch to beat Paduska. And Paduska sure. scores the touchdown. And Tennessee grabs the lead over Wake Forest by a score of six to nothing. Work time down here, John, when all those linemen, this is when the linemen do their work and uh, did a good job gave him enough room. Reves for the extra point. It's up and good. There's time out on the field with a score. Tennessee 7, Wake Forest nothing. Tennessee leads 7 to nothing. Wake Forest with a 50-yard kickoff return. Now a long pass downfield. Complete. Pass under thrown. White throwing. Grimm driving deep. Keeps his eye on the ball and comes back to make the catch, and it's a gain of 34 yards. Bill Anderson? Well, he fakes it inside. They're coming off the play action. Has good time. Now, he underthrows this ball. John, his receiver, you can see, he turned the defender around. The ball was underthrown. Grimm turns around, makes a good play, coming back to the ball. So it's first down at the five-yard line. Wake Forest trails 7 to nothing, but the Deacons, after a 50-yard kickoff return by McGill, that 34-yard pass, white to Brim, right back in the game. Pitch, this will be Ramshore. Ramshore scores for the Deacon. Takes it right in, nothing to it. Five yards on the score, and Wake Forest pulls within a point. Excellent, excellent drive. Excellent run, Ramshore. You'll see why he's one of the top ground gainers in the Atlantic Coast Conference. Good blocking out there by Clemens. And there's Ramshore with that extra little push at the end to get into the end zone. Another look for the end zone, Bill. Uh, yes, and you can see uh, Clement coming right there, makes a block. Of course, he cuts it back inside. He sees daylight and just turns it up the field to get in the end zone. The extra point is up, and it's good. And so Wake Forest moves quickly in three plays to score with 5.33 to go. It's Tennessee, seven. Wake Forest, seven. Another look at the run by Ramsior. Good blocking by that tight end out there also on the corner for Wake Forest. And that, of course, is Weiserick. So the Deacons tie the Volunteers, and here's the kickoff. By Illing. Panuska. Blocking, 20. Panuska, 30, out of bounds. The 36-yard line, Pete Panuska. Well, he returned to kick off 100 yards or thereabouts against another ACC team in the Sun Bowl. That was Maryland. Let's see this right down into the grass. What a picture. Beautiful shot, and here's Panuska. He gets some good blocking going up uh, the sideline there, John. Of course, uh, Wake Forest just scored. He brings it back out. Tennessee's got great field position to start the operation of the offense. First down, Tennessee. Tony Robinson at quarterback. Green complete, clink scales, 40, 45, running room, clink scales, pass midfield, clink scales to the 40, 30, 25, tackle to the 22-yard line. The screen perfectly executed as Robinson goes to Joey clink scales and the junior from Knoxville. Downfield, 43 yards in the first down. Here it is, Bill. Now the quick screen out there, as you mentioned, it's set up perfectly. He gets a good block, boom, right there, and then he's got his lead man. He cuts back against the grain. There's two defenders slip and go down. They can't make the cut, cut quick enough. Clink scales does some fine open field running on his own. The big block uh, to release him back at the line of scrimmage by Darrell Smith. So Tennessee, in a 7-7 game, has the ball. Well, nothing there for Howard. Actually, a loss in the play as Lambert and Baldinger combine. It'll be second down 11 at the 22-yard line. To throw Robinson. 
complete McGee gives some ground get most of it back not all I think he got a first out Tim McGee the leading receiver on the Tennessee team 11 catches 305 yards his first catch in this game uh, McGee's going down just find the open spot hooks it up in there but uh, he tries to get outside he gets a couple of there's some action downfield but uh, too many white shirts uh, not enough we get some pretty good action downfield from the blockers uh, with orange shirts trying to spring him loose. And as all he gives a little yard, trying to get outside of that block right there, but uh, there's too many white shirts for him to make it. Tackle made by Green, but it's a first down for Tennessee at the 11-yard line. There you see the measurement, and there you see the indication from the official. Tennessee 7, Wake Forest 7 in the first quarter. Oh, big one. That's Davis. Keith Davis, what a hold in the middle of the line, and we'll spot that blocking for you. That's the first down to the one-yard line. And again, of course, it's just a handoff. He starts the motion outside. He pops it back inside. Got a good hole. Uh, just tried to bull it into the end zone. Couldn't quite make it. 68 for Tennessee. Wilkerson blocking. Rolling it back to open up the path, and there's Davis lowering his head, trying to dive, but he's about a yard shy. That's how short he is of a touchdown. It's first and goal, Tennessee. Robinson. <laughs> touchdown, big arm. He made it look easy, but I think he missed the handoff. I don't <laughs> believe that was designed. Tony Robinson keeps for the one-yard skirt of the right side, and Tennessee comes back to grab the lead, 13 to seven. Robinson happy, as are the Tennessee fans. Over 93,000 on hand for the game. And here's Reves to attempt the extra point, trying to build Tennessee's advantage back to seven. It was seven nothing, then seven seven, it's 13 to seven. That's the end of the first quarter with the score, Tennessee 14, Wake Forest 7. Tennessee leads 14 to 7, but Wake Forest is moving with the football, and they have it at the volunteer 13-yard line. It's first down. Wake Forest with White. In trouble. Pass is complete down to the 10-yard line, shoved out of bounds. Penalty marker down on the play. That was Chambers, 36, making the catch. Pressure from Tennessee's Richard Cooper, who might have been flipped. There it is right there. Right yes. there. Crucial play. Right there. Of course, uh, White does a good job to get that uh, ball away to uh, Chambers on the sideline. Good pressure by Cooper, but he was trying to get him onto the sideline. Somebody clipped him. So here's the penalty, and it will be from the point of infraction clipping 15 yards actually a 25 yard loss first and 35 Wake Forest incomplete the pass intended for Ramjor Davis defending for Tennessee the free safety so it was first and 10 at the 13 first and 35 at the 38 yard line of the volunteers Tennessee leads by seven Ramjor pretty well played by Tennessee that time 54 Jones, 14 Terry Brown. Gain of two, third and 33. A look at Tennessee defensively, Bill. Well, they come up, stuff it pretty good. He has no running room. There's a good play. I think it's uh, Dale Jones under the coming under his man. Very well played. Third down and 33. Of course, there was no loss of down on the 15-yard penalty, so it was first and 35, second and 35, third and 33 after that game. Shotgun back to throw. White. Good pressure. Good hit. He's hit, and it is an incomplete forward pass. Ruled that he had begun his throwing motion. Tennessee already got to him this time as it was Jones there. Penalty marker down on the play. Take another look here. Tennessee gets the pressure on Foy White. Cooper was there, 77. 54 Jones ruled he was throwing the ball. Tennessee scampers after, and Cooper has it, but it will be ruled as an incomplete forward pass. And so Bailey is in to punt. Freshman putter, Charleston, South Carolina. 
from first and 10 at the 13, a 25-yard loss, 15 on the penalty, and there you see McGee feigning, making a catch, and the ball skips on into the end zone for the touchback, which will give Tennessee leading in the game by a score of 14-7 to possession, first and 10 at the 20-yard line. Swanson, the man in motion. Smith, the shifting tight end. Davis. Tripped up after a gain of right at six yards by Greed. Second down and four. Another look at Keith Davis. And he got a pretty good block there. Open a nice hole for Keith. He starts to cut back with the uh, number 21. The defensive halfback came up and made a good stop. Blocking for Tennessee number 60, Tony Williams from Kingsport in the game. Robinson unhappy with the deployment of his teammates has to spend a timeout. Second down four at the volunteer 26 yard line. You're looking toward the south end zone as Robinson splits the running back to throw pass intercepted. Mm -hmm. Intercepted their time out on the field with a score. Tennessee 14, Wake Forest 7. The determined Deacon defense forced to get turnover with the interception. Now moving with the ball at the Tennessee 47 yard line. It's first down and 10 to go. Foy White, number 14, the quarterback. 22 is Clemens. Play action. Complete. Carrying the ball this time, making his first catch, the tight end. Weiserek for a gain of 18 yards and Wake Forest trailing 14 to 7 moving with that ball down to the 28 yard line another look well, he's got good time back there he bought a little time with the play action uh, Big Cooper almost gets his hand on it but he gets by him and uh, he picks up a nice yardage on the play first down Wake Forest another look and let's see there you see Cooper might have possibly just flicked the pass but it didn't knock it off course so it's first and ten at the 28 yard line Clemens good running by Clemens that was good running John he kind of cut it back against the grain and really the defense had the hole plugged up pretty good but he just uh, runs to daylight back inside Clemens Ramsure quite a tandem <coughs> two of the best running backs in the Atlantic Coast Conference on the same team in the same backfield at the same time. 22 Clemens, 20 Ramsure. Ramsure in motion. Boy White. Complete. That's that tight end again. Weiserek, his second catch in a row. Nine yard gain. They get him out here, and uh, that's uh, what they like. That's the short, uh, ball control type of offense. He looked him off a little while, and he came across the field and was wide open coming underneath the linebacker. Gain of nine. The ball at the Tennessee 10. Tennessee 14 to 7. Wake Forest. Oh. First down. Great move by Ramsure for a gain of four, and it's first and goal at the six. He does, most, he does most of this on his own. He really doesn't have much place to go here. They've got his stuff. He starts he's faking back and forth. Just kind of keeps darting back and forth until he finds some room to maneuver forward. So it's first down goal for Wake Forest. Michael Ramsey, senior, Landis, North Carolina. Averaging just over four yards per carry. Wake Forest needs to get six yards in four plays to tie this game, trailing 14-7. Chambers in motion. White throwing to Chambers, incomplete. Well, he has his man there in the flat. It really, uh, he throws the ball a little bit behind him. He has a hard time turning around a little quick, but uh, he was covered pretty well by defensively, too. Wake Forest battling the defense and also that south end zone. It's alive with Pelosi fans. White, incomplete. If somebody gets a hand on this one up the middle there. Ramjor was diving for the catch in the end zone. Let's take a look, Bill Anderson. Boy White, the pump fake. He got his man coming open in there. Yeah, it's hit. It's tipped in there. Tennessee did get a hand on the ball. Might have been Fred Bennett in the middle. Anyway, it's incomplete. Good job of the defensive line getting their hands up. Third and goal. 
crowd alive. Ramsey in motion. Boy White out of the shotgun. Being pursued. Bang! That's Brown. Oh, big play. Richard Brown sacking him for minus 11. Brown well, coming from the backside. He doesn't ever see him coming. Just he tries to pull up. Bang! He hits him. Well, I guess he might have known he was there. <laughs> He does now. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Now it'll be a field goal try. 34 yards. No, no, it's off to the left. So the Tennessee defense Rise to comes alive. It was first and goal at the six. Another look at Richard Brown. Oh, what a sack. Almost, Richard Brown. He almost had to see him coming here, but I guess he doesn't, Johnny. He never turns his head that way. I guess he didn't see him. Otherwise, he wouldn't have pulled up like that. I don't believe. As soon as he pulls up, boom. 6 one 2 63 makes the stop. That's the end of the first half with the score. Tennessee leads 14-7. Wake Forest moving with the ball as the second half gets underway. Intercepted. Tennessee. Terry McDaniel, 40. 45. Midfield. Knocked down at the 48-yard line. Wake Forest trails by seven, comes out running and throwing the football this time. Terry McDaniel, Saginaw, Michigan, with the interception. Let's take a second look. Well, they run a lot off the play action there. Against the play action, has good time back there. He throws it to Tennessee. McDaniel's in perfect position, comes over and picks it off and uh, makes a good return of it here. To get outside, looks like, but the man had him shut off. A return of 19 yards by Terry McDaniel. Interception number four for Tennessee. Make that uh, more than four. Tennessee this year has a total of seven interceptions. Robinson in trouble. Complete. In trouble, out of trouble. Then the pass to McGee for 21 yards and a first down. Uh, that's good reaction by Robinson there. He comes back and uh, runs a little play action there, faking it. Has pretty good time in there. Can't find his receiver. He wants to think. He loots the defenders. There's McGee. And McGee goes up and makes a nice sideline catch. Gets those feet down, and he does. So, Tennessee has it first down and 10 at the Wake Forest 27-yard line, leading 14-7. to seven. Tennessee with another turnover. Wake Forest minus seven now in turnovers on the year. Keith Davis wrestled down by Scott after a gain of five yards. Keith Davis for Tennessee. Nine carries, 56 yards. 14-7. Davis outside, inside. Davis on his way. Give him six. Touchdown, Tennessee. Beautiful run, beautiful run. They catch him in a blitz. Looks like the outside man is coming on the blitz. Uh, Keith eludes him or slips inside of him and, uh, and then does the rest on his own. Keith Davis, 10 carries, 78 yards, and a touchdown. A happy freshman. Let's take another look. That's Davis. Gal Breath makes the big block at the line of scrimmage. The freshman scores. Tennessee leads 20 to 7. Reves for the extra point. Tennessee leads Wake Forest by a score of 21 to 7. Marching 48 yards after the pass interception in three plays. McGee with a 21 yard catch. Another look here at the touchdown scamper by Keith Davis. See number 13 gets caught inside. He's coming on the blitz, and he, does, he can't react quick enough, so they slip through the gap, and nice running. Let's go to ground level and watch the teamwork and watch Davis. There's that little okay. cutback. That, well, you're born with that, Bill. That doesn't come <laughs> that. That isn't coach. Don't coach that. You don't try to coach that. <laughs> so Tennessee now leads by a score of 21 to 7. And kicking off will be. Carlos Reves, the biggest difference in the game to this point. Tennessee trying to pull away. Wake Forest. Over the shoulder, Braxton. He's banged. Roberts. Downfield on the tackle for Tennessee. Good job that time of the kicking team. A little difficult to handle, but he makes over-shoulder catch of it, but Orange shirts swarming over. 
That number six is Roberts. What a lick. So it's got to be first down. Wake Forest. <laughs> he liked that. Boy White. Ramsure breaks the tackle. Good runner. Ramsure has quick feet. Uh, he can make something uh, out of nothing a lot of times. He really had uh, not much of a hole there, but he just kind of watch him work those feet that way, fake back, keeps his balance, gets away. Two or three little quick moves there and then tries to spin off of it. Doesn't take the, the shot head on. It was Sims on the tackle. Second down five at the 20. Tennessee 21 to 7 over Wake Forest. Clemens, 65 Scott, 77 Cooper. They just jam it up in there. Good defensive reaction to close the hole down. 96 Tyrone Robinson in on the play as well. Third down two. Complete. Ramsour fighting for a first down. I don't think he got there. Very, very close. Yeah. A second look, and you can judge for yourself. That's White. Ramsour, 96 Tyrone Robinson. Making the tackle just short. Fourth down, so Wake Forest. Not much to go, but enough. They're going to punt. Ball at the 24-yard line. And deep for Tennessee is McGee. The Vols lead by 14 points in the third quarter. It has been a struggle. Turnovers have been a factor. Low snap, but he gets it and gets it away. And McGee under the ball for Tennessee. Makes the catch. McGee. Fumble. Wake Forest has recovered the ball. Robert recovers for Wake Forest. Now that's the way to pick up, pick up yardage uh, rapidly. They kick it down there. McGee uh, takes the ball, makes a good catch of it. Looks like the wall is setting up very good there. They got one white shirt behind the wall as he tries to elude him. He just strips the ball with his hand right there, knocked it out of McGee's hand. And good it's punch. recovered by Wake Forest, and so the Deacons are right back in business. There's the recovery. And Wake Forest will have the ball. First down, 10 to go at the Volunteer 27-yard line. 45-yard putt turned into a 45-yard gain. White. Nice Complete. Great catch. That's Chambers. Boy White to Chambers, who makes the catch, stepping out of bounds. 19-yard pickup, and Wake Forest has it first and goal. Ramsure to the outside. Down to the four where he shoved out of bounds. Just in a power set, power play, uh, trying to get around the corner. Heading toward the north end, and you'll look at it from the north end zone camera. Dale Jones, Tommy Sims. Second down goal, Wake Forest, trailing 21 to 7, third quarter. Right in to the eye of Foy White. Play action pass all by himself. Touchdown, Clemens. Excellent call. That was great execution. Uh, Tennessee's defense was full. They cleared the area. Watch Clemens just slips on, slips through. He fakes it and he's wide open. Nobody near him. Clemens with the touchdown catch. And that for the year will be his fourth touchdown reception. And in to attempt the extra point will be Miller for Wake Forest. The kick is up. It is good. There's time out of the field with the score now. Tennessee 21, Wake Forest 14. Tennessee will have the ball leading now by a score of 21 to 14 as Tony Robinson's in trouble and Tony Robinson is sacked. Minus 13 on this play as Mark is the man who gets to Tony Robinson. Let's take a look. Well, he's coming out on the swing pass here, looking up and 
he doesn't have time really to do much of anything. He's in trouble and the uh, big 91's all over him. Bruce Mark with the sack, the second time that Robinson has been sacked in the ball game, and so suddenly Tennessee leading by seven points. It's second down and 23 yards to go at the Tennessee 24. Robinson. Complete, that's McGee. the open spot just took it up to the inside so we have a good job of the offensive line here Tony dropped straight back uh, plenty of time sitting in there deliver the ball right on target good good catch there too great catch by Tim McGee and Tennessee though it's a 19 yard gain still has four yards to go for a first third down upcoming big play Davis needs four struggling it'll be close they're lining it up Keith Davis first down Tennessee not really much running room here but uh, Keith is working those feet and finds the open area just kind of slips the block and uh, takes a pretty good shot in there pretty good defense just barely made it. Keith Davis for a gain of five and it's first down Tennessee at the 48 yard line Davis again picks up two at midfield. This Wake Forest team continues to play very controlled tight. Right. Their deportment, their attitude, under control, tough on defense, playing very well. Ooh, there's a stick by number 53. Davis is hit and hit hard. Baldinger and Scott. Scott primarily responsible, the linebacker. Got a pretty good hole. That linebacker comes up. There's a kind of a missed blocker. Boom. Nobody touched him. He puts his hat right in the middle of his breastbone. Scott and Davis is injured on the play. Leaves the game. Howard in there is running back. Tennessee will have a third down and eight. Leading 21 to 14. Robinson. Ooh, trying for the block. first down and I threw they went out of bounds behind that first down marker he has pretty good timing here he can't find anybody downfield John and he's got pretty good protection but a big hole opens up inside now look coming here watch this boom Swanson makes a great block there but uh, Tony hits for the sideline picked up the first down he did. I think they did not give it to him. No, he did not get the first down. He's that much short. Unusual mark of the ball, and so now Tennessee has it. The balls are going to go for the first down. Ooh, close. Very close. Again, how will it be marked? And it is first down, Tennessee. Well, the, De the Deacons here are not so sure. They don't... <laughs> Know that they want to give it to him, but they get a good mark on the ball really that time. First and ten, Tennessee leading by a score of 21 to 14. Davis back in there. He took a real shot a minute ago, went out for a couple of plays. Now he's back for more. Three yard pickup that time by Davis. And Davis now has picked up 85 yards. Gunning for another 100-yard gain, possibly. Catch, that's Swanson, 27. Robinson again escaping the pressure. There you see Scott blitzing in there. Good job by Tony that time. He's under strong pressure, and a nice catch there by Swanson right on the side. Eric Swanson with the reception in Tennessee. down three twenty one to fourteen audible by Robinson throws incomplete intended for Swanson 
Not close, and so here is Carlos Reves. This will be a 52-yard field goal attempt. It would be his career high, the longest one. Looks straight. Looks long. It's good. Nice kick. That's a long one, 52 yards. That might have had a little help for the win. Tennessee leads by 10. Carlos Reve, six of six in the field goal department. Let's take another look. No question about the accuracy if it's far enough, and it is. Right down the middle. Beautiful camera work, too, by the way, as Ravis will now be kicking off. Ten points the difference. Tennessee is led by as much as 14. Now it's 10. Wake Forest. Oh, he falls down. What a tough break that is. Tough, tough break for Wake Forest as McGill made the catch and as he planted to make his move out of the end zone, down he goes. First and 10 inside the one-yard line. Ramsey slips and falls. Tennessee wanted a safety, but he got the ball out. Maybe he lost a little. Couldn't lose much. <laughs> he slips, but they had it played very well anyway. But there again, it's a little slippery down there on that end of the field. Certainly appears to be. Ramsey That's right. Darren Miller. Tries to cut it back inside. When he plants that foot, it just slips right out from under him. Second down, still 10 yards to go. Clemens, Dale Jones dives in. Ziegler is there. Robbie Scott, 65. Wedging it out for a couple of yards. Tough duty down here on your own goal line. You can't afford to be too uh, gamble very much and turn the ball over. It'd be pretty concerning. Trying for the first down. It will not be so as Ramsey does twist and turn out. That's the end of the third quarter as Tennessee stops the clock with a timeout call. And the score is Tennessee 24, Wake Forest 14. Wake Forest had to punt into the wind at the end of the third quarter. A short punt, only nine yards, and Tennessee's got it first down and 10 at the Wake Forest 16, and this is Keith Davis. Picks up four yards in the play. It'll be second down and six at the 12. Just a quick toss. They have pretty good block in there. Keith tries to cut it back inside to daylight, and then they react, and he picks up three or four yards there. Tennessee leading by 10. Robinson. Davis. Four-yard gain on that play. Looked like they were going to get a lot more out of this, John, when he pitched the ball. But uh, good reaction right there coming back inside. It looked like there's a pretty big hole inside. But Wake Forest did a good job to react to it. Grantham made the tackle, so it's third down and three. Robinson to throw. Looks right. Throw. Touchdown. Clink scale. Like a shot. That's a simple post or slant inside. Robinson does a good job here on the looking to play off because he knows he makes a sets it up looks over there first and then goes back to his right makes the motion comes back and he's got the man coming on the slant inside beautiful play plank scales with the touchdown and Tennessee well let's take another look right now at ground level you see that look away and you see that rifle shot to Joey plank scales makes the catch and gives Tennessee six four and Ravage will try to make it seven and he does, and so Tennessee leads by 17 points, 31 to 14. Carlos Reves still maintaining that perfect record. Six for six, now 10 for 10, extra points. And here's the kick. McGill. McGill. Wake Forest has some good, some good backs. They've uh, managed to do a good job returning the kickoff, too. They've gotten the, 
except for the one time they slipped and left it on the one yard line or one foot uh, line. They've done a good job returning kickoffs, getting it back up the field in good field position for their offense to just start work. Good running McGill still on his feet, a 38 yard return. That's Coffey who made the tackle on him. But it's first and 10 Wake Forest at the 38 yard line. Tennessee leading by a score of 31 to 14. Boy White incomplete. Wiserek, the intended receiver. Lavazier Fisher, number 40 in the play. Big Wiserek, and he fishes all over him there and just <laughs> strips the ball away from him. He has it two or three times, but he keeps batting at it and knocks it loose. Second down, 10. They are complete. That scales making the catch. Gain of six yards on the play. Out to the 44-yard line of Wake Forest. It'll be third down four. Another look. Cooper with a hand up, but the catch by Scales. And this is 16 Tommy Sims, seven is White. Scales is a big target out there. 6'4", 225, big, big receiver. Into the shotgun, third down. Wake Forest trailing by 17. White. Batted down. Who was that? Cooper. Richard Cooper, number 77 at 6'6", 272. That's you know, about the second one he's got his hand on. That's a good job by Cooper there. He gets that hand up. That's what they have to do when it. Wake Forest throws a lot of short passes. It's very difficult to get to the quarterback uh, because they're short. They're time passes for ball control. Got to get stop him and put the heat on him with the down lineman. Good job there. Bailey into punt as Tennessee's defense stops Wake Forest after the Volunteers scored moments ago. There's the punt. McGee watches it roll out of bounds at the 25-yard line of Tennessee. Fourth quarter, Tennessee leads by a score of 31 to 14. Robinson oh. will run. Oh, late. Robinson slow to get up. No penalty marker on the play. Late hit. Tony's got all day in here. Good job up front there. Nice protection. He's got all day. Can't find anybody. Wake Forest must be doing the job downfield. He likes to run outside and uh, picks up the yards. He's going to hit the deck right here. Don't take any chances. He's down and then boom, they jump on him. So it's going to be for Tennessee a gain of seven yards. Second down and three. Davis. Nothing there. Third down and three. Pretty good job of the Wake Forest defense here. They don't have much. They pull and try to make the trap. They're pulling the guard around, but uh, no hole in there at all. Wake Forest stuffed it. Wake Forest staying tough. Trailing 31 to 14. Tennessee 101. Wake Forest three and one. Keith Davis cutting back. First down for Davis. Past the 40-yard line, and Davis now goes over the century mark. 18 carries, 104 yards. And a first down for the Volunteers. First down, number 15. Good running by Keith here. He goes, he breaks an arm tackle there, keeps his feet, keeps driving forward to pick up an important first down. Out to the 41-yard line is Robinson off play action. Steps up, slips and <laughs> falls after a gain of three yards. Tony's a little upset there. You don't like him. He slapped him on the head a little bit that time. Second and seven. Davis. Not much there this time. Trailing be the play to make the stop is Grinton. Third down, six to the 45 yard line. Tennessee wanting the clock to tick on away and Wake Forest staying right in there. Third down and six. Robinson. Throwing. Oh, it's dropped. Hendricks, the tight end, was wide open. 
tough luck. Good execution, everybody, and uh, Hendricks just couldn't hold on. I don't want to run a little too quick. So into punt will be Garmin. But Cummings is deep. The punt is away. Brewer, oh, spun down by Jeff Smith. There's time out of the field with a score. Tennessee 31, Wake Forest 14. Wake Forest has the football after the punt at the Deacon 14-yard line. Number 14 back to throw is Boy White. Complete. That's Chambers. Chambers again coming across the middle. Uh, he has to get out of the pocket, but he keeps his presence, uh, keeps his cool there and completes the pass. That's a, that's a great catch here by Chambers coming across the middle in the traffic. Moves it up. Finds him. Throws it too high. That was the kind you get killed on up there. But uh, <laughs> that's the kind you go back and say, hey, quarterback, get it down a little. <laughs> Hand off. Clemens running. Clemens for another first down. Wake Forest refuses to consider itself out of this football game. So they trail by 17. Here you see Clemens. There you see the blocking up front by Wake Forest. Clemens is really a good runner, John. He uh, finds daylight. He starts. He really didn't have much there, but he can find the hole and he cuts laterally very well. The crowd, the Tennessee games at least, learning to stay late. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Boy White. Incomplete. Good coverage coming in there. 14 Brown. Sims depending on the play. Brim, the intended receiver. You'll see the defense deploying. You'll see Boy White now. Behind Brian Pascal. Ramsior. Ramsior. Ran through uh, several orange shirts that time. Nice job of running. Down the hole, cut it up inside. Tennessee didn't tackle very well. A tough tandem of running backs. This is Michael Ramsior, a senior from Landis, North Carolina, for a gain of 17 yards. So here's Wake Forest down by 17 in the final quarter. quarter. They go for 16, they go for 13, they go for 17. White to throw. Complete Chambers. Ooh, he threw some orange that time. A gain of 16 yards and a first down to the volunteer 24-yard line. He has good time back there. Of course, it doesn't take long. He sets up and just delivers the ball. He catches Chamber coming across the middle. Nice catch. He tries to go somewhere with it, but then a lot of orange shirts converging on him. It's enough for the first down. Wake Forest this time to give it to Ramsior. Tries to circle the left side. 45 Miller flips him down after a gain of a yard. But Way Forest moves ever closer to the Tennessee goal line, trailing in the game by a score of 31 to 14. White looking, complete to Chambers, wrestles free down to the nine yard line. Chambers has caught a pass for 16, another for 16, and this one for 14 yards in this drive, which began back at the Wake 14-yard line. He tries to get to him with the blitz, but uh, he gets the ball away. Nice catch, and Chambers almost breaks it away. He gets behind, he had clear sailing to the goal line, but a nice recovery to make the tackle. McDaniel stayed with him to make the tackle. White pass. There's the completion as you see a replay and that McDaniel, good effort by McDaniel. Yeah, if he don't get make that reaction, he's in the end zone. Wake Forest though has it first and goal. And here's Big Clemens plowing up the middle for a gain of five yards. Lots of time to go. Tennessee leads though by 17 points. Boy White. Oh, it's incomplete. Grim. He had his man in over the middle. He put it right on target. He couldn't hold on. Third down goal. Tennessee leading 31 to 14. Out of the shotgun. Boy White in trouble. Out of bounds, Dale Jones making the play for Tennessee. 
Cooper was over there. Scott was over there. Brown was over there. It was Jones. Here you see him coming out of the shotgun, looking always to his left. Now looking down the middle to Ramsjor. He's covered. Smart thing. He's going to do the smart thing. Get out of bounds. <laughs> A lot of orange shirts over there. Fourth and goal. White. Throwing. Touchdown, Wake Forest. Beautiful play. That was. That's just a timing play. You see, you take that snap, take a couple of steps back, and deliver the ball. Lays it up, lets his receiver boom, boom, delivers the ball high, up over the defender, lets his receiver rim run under. So that makes it uh, 31 to 20, and Wake Forest is going to go for a two point conversion to make it a two possession game or a nine point difference. And off. This is Ramsor. Wake Forest did indeed score again, but they come a bit short. That's the final score. Tennessee 31, Wake Forest 29. Stay tuned as we'll take you to the ball locker room after these messages. This is Bob Kessling in the Tennessee locker room with Tennessee head football coach Johnny Majors. Coach Majors, your team moves to two on one, but it was a struggle. On it. We had them all the way, Bob. We <laughs> just had them all the way. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. This is the uh, thrill of minute kids we've got on our team this year. Uh, and I thought, if I'm not getting tired of you, utilizing our depth and onside kick uh, return team, which we've had to do a lot the last three games. But still, anytime you get uh, real hoggish about winning football games this day and time or ever, uh, you better, you, you haven't got another thought coming. Uh, we did a lot of good things we, uh, when we had to do it. Uh, came up with some big plays, uh, turnovers, but uh, it wasn't one of the prettiest victories you'll see. And some people had something to do with, it, with that was Wake Forest. Their quarterback was by far the best performer we've seen at quarterback this year. And I thought they showed tremendous poise and showed good offensive play, and they fought us very hard defensively. Well, it was a strange game, though. You had the guy falling at the one-yard line on the kickoff. He had lots of penalties. <laughs> McGee dropped a punt. It was just hard to ever get control of this thing, wasn't it? Yeah, it was never really any uh, flow uh, and go into the game on either side. Uh, you know, a fumble or two on our part, a fumble punt. It was just a very unusual ball game. I'm sure it's sometimes ragged, but sometimes some very good play on both teams' part. What about the defense? How do you think they played today, Tennessee? Uh, not near the. I, I don't think uh, they played near as well as we did the first two ball games. But I, I, I'll have to see the films better. Uh, I think Wake Forest did a very good job of keeping us off balance. Their offense against our defense, and their defense kept us off balance at times. But it was a, a hard-earned victory, and I'm very proud of our uh, the outcome of the game. Tennessee is now 2-0-1, but this is the big, tough stretch coming up going to Florida and Alabama. Your thoughts on the next two weeks? I, have, I haven't noticed anything, anything easy about the last three games. Uh, we're playing one of the five toughest schedules in the, in the nation, and nothing will come easy for, for us this year. And I said it before, and I'll say it again. Uh, we've got a tough stretch all the way out. The next eight games are going to be really, really tough nuts to crack, but I hope we can uh, continue to improve, and, and we'll see what happens. Concerns about going on the road? Is that it's always different than playing at home? Always different. Yes, uh, I'd rather play at home, but you don't have that choice, and we're, we'll be ready to go to Florida. I hope to play our best game. I think this will be the best football team we will have played at this time, and it'll, it'll take a tremendous effort and a great performance for us to, to win the ball game, uh, even though I haven't seen Florida on film. Coach Majors, congratulations to you and the staff and the players for uh, another win today. I'm very happy about it, Bob, uh, uh, because I've uh, been on the other side, and it would be a lot sadder if we hadn't won the ball game. Thanks, Coach. Johnny Majors, Tennessee head football coach's comments after the Wake Forest win. We'll be back to talk with players after this. Back in the Tennessee locker room, this is Darren Miller, Tennessee linebacker with us. Darren, tell us about the struggles out on the field today. Wake Forest came at you guys pretty well. Yes, they were a very good team, and we knew that coming in. I don't think we took them lightly or anything. They were just a good team. They executed well. They had some pretty good backs. It was a situation, too, with a passing team like that. It's really hard to completely shut them out, isn't it? Oh, definitely. Um, they didn't really hurt us too much on the pass. They got that one big play where the pass was unthrown and came back for it. But that's just the way it goes. What about the physicalness of the game? I know there was a lot of penalty flags out there and maybe a lot of uh, hot tempers. Was it a pretty physical game? Yeah, it was a physical game. Um, they liked the cutback. That's what hurt us mainly. It, we, you know, I was used to Auburn and really going across. I just had to slow down a little bit and watch for the cutback. No matter what the score is, it's still good to win in it. Oh, definitely. Tennessee kicker Carlos Reves is still perfect. He has not missed a field goal nor an extra point so far this season. Today, a 52-yarder. You had it all the way, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. I'm glad now you got to get that long one out of the way. What about the, the, your confidence right now? You must be kicking pretty well. 
It feels with extra points, I feel real confident uh, every time I go out there. I just have to work on my kickoffs a little more. On the kick, did you know that the wind was behind you? What is, I mean, most people, you look at the flags at the top of the stadium and think it was blowing a gale, but on the field, it swirls, doesn't it? Yeah, it sure does, because when you go out there, for instance, they have streamers on the goal poles, and you look at them, and it's blowing one way, but then you feel the wind hitting you in the face the other way. So you just can't think about where the wind's blowing and just go out there and kick it. What, anything you're doing differently this year than in the past? Are you working on different things this season on your kicking? Not really. Basically, I'm doing the same thing I've been doing since I've been here. It's just, uh, I guess like Coach Major said, I'm just getting older and smarter and wiser. I don't know. It's Tennessee defensive tackle Richard Cooper. Richard, today, give us your thoughts on the Tennessee defense. How long did it play? We didn't play very well. Uh, it wasn't the same feeling against Auburn. I mean, everybody was motivated last game, but I don't think the same motivation was there today. Is it just tough to get up every single week nowadays in college football with so many good teams out there? Uh, I mean, anybody can be anybody on a given day. It just, you can't let the other team get motivated at all. Were you impressed with uh, Wake Forest, especially their quarterback? Yeah, I was impressed. I mean, it, he had a pretty good arm. I don't, his foot speed was questionable. I don't know. What about you? You had some injuries early in the season. Are you getting healthy now and playing better? Yeah, I'm getting healthy. I can tell by the way I'm getting back into things. Uh, certain things I do don't hurt anymore. Tennessee running back Keith Davis went over 100 yards today. He also had one 22-yard touchdown run. Keith, congratulations. Seems like you're playing better every week. Yeah, thank you. Um, the offensive line is doing a little better this week. Um, we, was, we went up for this game too much, as you can tell, but um, we finally got it clicking in the second quarter and started getting together. Sometimes they say a running back just needs to get his rhythm and get healthy, and is that the, the case with you? Well, no, it all depends on the offensive line. It's not just the running back. It, it mostly depends on offensive line. If they're having a good game, then we're having a good game. But it all depends on them. Tell us about the Wake Forest defense. Did they give you some problems today? Yes, they did. They did a little. They did little things that uh, we hadn't practiced on. Uh, they was moving around a little bit, so that gave the offensive line a little trouble. But they finally figured out what they were doing, and we was able to run the ball pretty good. They came at you pretty good. In fact, you got your bell rung a couple times, didn't you? Yes, I think they uh, put a linebacker blitz on me one time, and I kind of got my head ruined. <laughs> Is you all right now? Yeah, just fine. Next week, Tennessee heads on the road to play the Florida Gators. Today, the final score, Tennessee over Wake Forest, 31-29. Reporting for the Tennessee locker room, this is Bob Kessling. John Ward back in just a moment. <laughs>